Hello and welcome back in the next in the next video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to uh, align the anchor points, add a new anchor point, change the menu, and make everything work together. What I also will do is create an opt-in form so we can actually put this uh, in something that makes more sense. So I will add a new banner here. So what I'll do first is I'm going to click on this banner and drag it down because I will need some space to add a new banner here. Then I'm going to click on here, I'm going to add a banner and I mostly start with the dark blue one. It's like 99% of the time I just click on the dark blue one and then I'm going to design my own banners. Uh, you can only make it smaller from the bottom. I don't know why that is. It would be nice if you can do it from both sides, but that's just the way it is. So I'm going to add it here, drag it here and figure out if this is the right size. Now, the cool thing is, is that they're just layers. They're just layers on top of each other. So let's say I would put it here. Now you can see it's on top of each other. I go here. It's now layer number 26. If I would put it down, you will see that now suddenly it's disappeared. It's over here, but when I let go, it's under there. So this gives you an idea about how to think about these layers and know that this layer now is on the absolute bottom. So when I click on right click here and I click on appearance, uh, everything has a preset. So if you go here, you see this already has a layer, a preset, and that if we click over here, if we hover over, we're gonna get the preset of this one. If we're gonna hover on this one, we're gonna get different presets, different IDs. And over here, you can see the preset of this layer. So right now we're in banner custom 29 and I want to change that. So I'm going to change the name and I'm going to say uh, opt-in form because I know it's easy to just use these and auto click and say, okay, I'm going to make mine red done. But if you're going to work on your website and your website's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, the better organized your website is, the faster it will go and the faster you can edit your website uh, in the future. So let me put it over here and opt in. I'm going to click on this form and just to go through the options, if you go here, you will see a different color on the inside as you see on the outside. If you go there, you will only get the inside uh, border. If you click on this one, you will get the full frame. It's what I use the most. And if you get this one, you will see you will get the light. Now this looks ugly, but if you would go here and let me just quickly show you, go over there and do this. This can work really well. I made a website for a dentist and I used this feature in their header because it was a girl with a half smile on there and it really faded nice in her uh, yeah, in her mouth almost. But in this case, we're gonna leave it like this. Return, we can click it away. We go back to ours that we wanted to edit. And we're gonna click on the full frame. So if you wanna add an image, you can do it over here. But I don't wanna add an image. I am going to go with the color. So I'm gonna change this color and I wanna say, okay, I wanna get a, a purple color. Now, this might not be the nicest fit, but it's just to show you, we can just edit it. If we want a different color, we can go over here and select our hex code or our RGB code. Or we can just drag up and down and say, okay, that's what we want. No, we want it to be orange. And I want it to be something like that. Maybe I want to make it more transparent, but me, I like it full color. So I'm gonna leave it at this. Don't judge my design skills, please. I'm not a designer. And uh, I think this can be kind of uh, fun. Nah, it's Dutch, it's uh, orange. Uh, I'm just not gonna think about it too long. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure I would keep it this way, but let's just put it over here. Widen this a little bit. Remember this, we cannot edit. This is an app. This is pre-designed. We cannot change the name. We cannot change the email address. We can change the submit button by saying 
the button text and say um, sign up for our email or just sign up confirm now that's changed these things we can change in mailing bus and I'm going to show you later how I want to take away the enter your full name as well because I don't like the way it looks and I don't see any use for it it's more like a text description which I never used in the past and I just wanted to show you guys what it was but don't worry we're going to show you how to do it on top of here I want to add some text now there's two ways I can do it I can add text like here go to the plus say text and then select a text now in this case I'm going to select a really big font I'm going to go double click take this away and right here sign up to our newsletter now for those of you who watch this and have not a lot of experience with web design or copywriting etc it's always nice to start the first letter with a capital because it becomes easier to read and it stands out more so that's a good tip what I also like to do here in this case is make it a bit smaller so it actually fits within and then you can easier align it you can easily easier see if it's in the middle uh, or not so right here it's good but we can also do it differently right click take this away go over here press copy paste so Apple Z Apple V or control C control V and it duplicates and all we have to do is drag it up and then select all make it white because I think that's gonna be the nicest looking color sometimes as you see it doesn't work straight away they do it all in caps so sign up to our newsletter so this for now I leave it like this the next step is aligning the anchor points what are the anchor points the anchor points are when I click on surface I'm going to surface when I click on showcase it knows where to go but as you can see now there's a little bit of orange in here if I go to plants you can see there's a little bit of blue in there if I go to home there uh, is nothing there because we go to the top but if we go to surface there's still a little bit of the area above that so what we have to do is say okay the surfaces there's a little bit too much so we're gonna put it slightly down about us is new we don't have an about us in our menu yet so first what we do is we add an anchor we go to the plus and we go to apps in apps you find anchor and in the anchor we can drag it up over here edit it and call this about us oh about us confirm so now I'm going to scroll down at the same time and say the showcase which is funny it showed something above so we're going to see how that goes but I'm going to align all these points should align this one as well let's see what happens and go here to the menu and right click on the menu as you can see there's a yellow line around the menu which means that it's fully um, oh let me show you later what that is but voila okay now this is let me just go back that's the beauty about going back this disappeared underneath there let me explain you first what this is because if you see this it will say hey you went from blue to yellow or from yellow to blue meaning you go from the header page to the background page and why this is happening in this scenario it's not clear to me because it shouldn't so let me bring it back and show you if I drag it here it will go to the blue page meaning that the menu is now going with the page it doesn't stay in the header anymore because the header is fixed on the page but if I put it on here it should stick there now the thing that's going wrong here is that it doesn't stick there and that's probably a bug in build roll so what I have to do is I go back I right click 
I say fix on page, meaning that the header is not fixed on the page anymore. And I have to scroll this down a little bit. And now you can easily track it on top. You can see it goes yellow and it goes blue. It goes yellow, it goes blue, meaning that it will go there. I will give this, whenever I run into a bug, I'm not getting angry on Builderall because it's a software tool. We will have bugs all the time. I'm just going to send them a little email or contact their support and say, hey, look at this little bug. So I'm clicking there. Now it's over there. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to configure. From configure, I go to the little area over there. And now I say, I want to add the about us page over there. So I'm going to go here and I say new item and they're all in caps. So we're going to make sure it's all in caps Oh, about us and the action it has to do once we click on it, it can go to a web address. It can have no action at all. It can go directly to a page. And as you can see here, we have no pages signed up right now, but once we do make pages, we can uh, link from page to page. It's really that easy. But in this case, we want to make it go to an anchor point. And in this case, about us. So we're going to click OK, confirm. And now it's over here. These are not shown yet. But the moment we are going to drag them in over here, we are going to get them over here. So if I press confirm, you see about us is suddenly in here. Now I don't want about us here. I want it to be there. So I'm going to right click configure and all of this you can do from the get go. You don't have to go click confirm. Okay. etc. It's just for me to show you how it works. So we could drag it up here and have it signed up there. Or if you want to have sub menus, you can say, Hey, I want to have this as a sub menu on their home. So I just dragged a little bit to the right. And as you can see now on the left side, underneath home, there's a little white space. So if I press confirm right now and I go to preview, these are all normal. But when I go to home, I will get a pop-up menu. Now you can design this, give it the looks you want, show you how it works, etc. But now I just want to show you how to create these uh, drop down menus. So, let me go back. Let me put it the way we want to put it. Go to configure, go to the menu and say, yes, that's how we want it. Confirm the login. I'm going to delete because we're not going to use it right now. And normally if we click here, everything should be aligned already. Oh, let me go back one more time. This area, I want to drag it up. And I want to move this down. That's not working. I'm going to say to this area, fix on page. I'm going to say to this area, voila. That's how I want it to be. So I'm going to click on preview. So I go to about us. It will bring us to there. If I go to services, it will bring us to services. If I go to showcase, it will bring us to the showcase area. If I bring it to plans, it will bring us to plans, go back home, we go back to home. I hope you guys understand a little bit more about the HTML5 editor. In the next video, we are going to create a, a new page, a thank you page for the opt-in form and make sure that the opt-in process is working correctly. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.